Okay, this is uh, my first attempt here with the thruster commander. And I basically set it up like that. And I'm uh, doing what uh, I guess Blue Robotics calls dynamic steering. Uh, skid steering in my book. <laughs> anyway, uh, the pot on the left is for steering and the pot on the right is for speed. And it just goes into a box here that allows me to get the signals um, into my main controller box, which I've used for, gosh, quite a while now. And most of the stuff in the box has to do with measuring current. Um, but uh, the, um, let's see if I can show that. Well, nothing to see except the connections. And there's a 25 amp hour lithium battery down there. You know, anyway. The idea is to show you if this thing works. And uh, I'm gonna arm it. Okay, both the both the pots are set to the center zero. There's a little detent there. It's not real strong, but it'll work. And uh, I'm gonna leave the steering pot set to the center zero. And uh, I believe this is my forward position. Both thrusters don't kick on exactly at the same time. Um, but it's probably not getting picked up very well. I guess it is. So they're both blowing smoke towards me. So this would be my forward direction. Then I'm going to do a little bit of steering. And what I notice, one of them stops. This one is still blowing quite a bit of smoke. But as I continue to steer in this direction, the other thruster kicks in. So this one is still blowing up towards me. Now this one is, is sucking in. So they've reversed the directions. So bottom line, it works. That was my that was my um, big question. Would these actually go into a a true skid steer, whereas you continue to make the turn sharper and sharper? Would it would the other thruster go in the opposite direction? It appears to be the case. So this is pretty cool. This is so simple. Um, Blue Robotics did a good job on this, and uh, the only thing that was perplexing to me was the uh, little case that everything comes in. And I defy anybody to get all the parts back in there. There's quite a bit of stuff came in that box. Um, including a quick start card, if I can get it out of here. Uh, there's a little jumper cable in there. This is for the kill switch. Uh, and then a whole bunch more cool stuff, depending on which, how you want to hook it up. But anyway, all of that, including the, uh, the thruster commander, <laughs> the pots, everything was in this box. So... Um, That'll be my challenge someday, is to try to get it all back in the way they had it. should have taken a picture. Uh, very cool, guys. You did it. Um, I've been doing this kind of thing um, with my setup here. You can't really see what's going on, but I run them 
uh, like outriggers on my kayak. They work really well, but I've had to do it, I've done it several ways, but uh, typically do it with uh, controlling each motor independently. Um, and I've also got a joystick arrangement that I can use. It works real well. But this, this, is, this does it all. This is perfect. I like the idea of being able to set the direction and then control the speed uh, or vice versa. At some point, um, it'd be interesting to see how they coded this thing. Uh, they make a decision that once the steering gets to a certain point, the uh, one thruster will go in the opposite direction. I think I said that. So, very cool. Thanks.